So sedation is popular in uh, your practice. Absolutely, there are two kinds of patients, Randy. There's the patients that aren't scared of the dentist, and then there's everybody else that is scared, nervous. You know, they, they avoid the dentist because they're nervous. Like almost like a phobia? Absolutely, it's a legitimate is that phobia. Common? Oh yeah, it's way more common than you think. And some people are just afraid to admit it. I mean, they come, but they're nervous as all, as all get out. So it, we can do it anything from some of that laughing gas people have heard of, just makes the experience much more pleasant to if, it, if it's something they're, they're really nervous about getting a filling. Right? And I've seen people that nervous about just a filling. Give them a pill, they have someone bring them, they can't be driving. We take care of them and oftentimes they're not even going to remember what happened. Now, later. not all dentists have these licenses, right? Uh, to do like oral sedation. Not all. I mean, okay. it, in Utah, many do. Okay. Uh, but it, it's just a matter of being aware that there's that many people that need it. Wow. So okay. give them a pill, they come in, they get it done, they go home. Or if they're even that, that much more nervous, we can do the IV sedation. They come in, someone brings them, we get them on the IV. Dr. Carter does that in our, our office. And you can get a lot of work done in that period of time. And that's a major benefit for people that they're nervous or they're pressed for time. Just get it all done. We've done it one gal two months ago, a crown, about 10 fillings, all of it done in about two and a half hours. She walked out. But as far as a patient's concerned, it's like five minutes. She doesn't remember anything. Her husband was with her. He remembers it all. She was quite funny. But okay. you know, then, then she's done. She doesn't have to come back in. So that nervousness of coming in to see us, it's all gone. It's done. Next time we see her for a cleaning. And IV she's sedation, much, it's safe? Uh, IV sedation Statistically is- Statistically safe? Very safe. I mean, safer than going out and driving your car, right? Okay. I mean, it's, it's very safe. And we've got all the monitors, everything to make sure that you're well taken care of. If anything goes- So their blood right, pressure is monitored. Blood pressure, blood oxygen, everything that you normally monitor in the hospital, we've got one of those monitors. We're gonna make sure, even if you're on the pill, we've got that monitor on. We're gonna make sure that we know what's going on and you're safe. Now for these big, you know, full mouth people with broken down mouths, yeah. wouldn't you even prefer that they're sedated? Is it easier for you? Oh, it's always easier, especially when it's something that would naturally be a little nerve wracking, like getting a bunch of teeth taken out or a bunch of teeth worked on for that matter. It's just, it's less stressful when the patient's not stressed, right? So if it's a lot of work, they want to get it done, sedation's a great option. People shouldn't be afraid of it. They should just say, hey, you know what? This can be easier. Let's just do it this way. 